Hey, so I'm back, and uh, in this one we're going to do a little bit of simple gravity. You can go out and get the JavaScript box 2D kind of physics thing. Um, if you really need that much physics going on in your in your games, uh, and kind of incorporate it into the framework. But uh, in this one we're just going to do some simple physics uh, just to get an object to kind of fall and uh, land on stuff and do a little bit of collision. Um, so uh, I've wiped it clean and came back to <clears throat> my original state. So let's do a, a little bit of collision detection. Let's create a, uh, uh, this is the, the last one. Let's create this rectangle along the floor here, but above uh, the, the, the bottom of the, the ground here. So uh, let's create a new rectangle. So var rect, let's call it floor. Floor is equal to new rectangle. And let's say, um, what is it? I think this is like, yeah, this is like 500. So let's say about 400, oh no, sorry, zero on the X, uh, 400 on the Y, uh, 25, uh, no, the width will be uh, 400 and the height will be 20. Okay, and now let's make a var. Oh, let's set the color floor dot, uh, dot color is equal to new color, we're, we're just going to set it to black, uh, one on the alpha, so var player equals new rectangle, zero, uh, let's make him at, let's make him at 15, 15, uh, 25, let's make him a little smaller, let's make him 20 also by 20, and player dot color, let's make him a weird color, let's just turn off the red and make him a nice cool color so r is equal to zero so now let's make sure we draw both our player and our floor so uh... we're gonna draw the the, 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 the floor first so let's do floor dot draw ctx and then player dot draw ctx and now uh... instead of uh... Let's let's first uh, make sure it's drawing, I guess. So there's our strange colored uh, player. That's kind of hard to see. Maybe I'll just make it. Uh, I'll just make it blue. Player dot color g is equal to zero. All right. So and here's our floor. So we want him to fall and hit the floor and collide with the floor. So first, let's make him fall. Let's do player dot y plus equals. Let's make a variable called gravity and put uh, 9.8 in there. So let's make his y plus equal the gravity. Um, and you'll see that he falls at a constant speed. Uh oh. Forgot to do something here. Let's take off that f. Uh, y plus equals gravity. Hmm. Uh, maybe it just wasn't refreshing. This looks fine. All right, there we go. So he's going and he's falling really fast. So gravity, that's way too high. Let's put 2.8 in there. Um, that's all right. It's a little jerky and whatever. So let's just make it three. That's all right. So three's good. So he's going, he's falling at three. He's got the gravity. But now let's make sure his collision is detected correctly. So floor, if floor dot uh, intersects um, player, then player dot y is equal to floor dot y uh, subtracted by player dot height. So there we go. He falls and he hits the floor and he stops. Great. Let's make a move back and forth to make sure our gravity's, our our our, uh, our collision is working good with our gravity. So let's uh, say, let's just put it here. If uh, input dot a, then player dot x plus equals three. If input dot, uh, uh, sorry, minus equals three. It's going left dot d player dot x plus equals three so now once we fall and i hit uh, the arrow keys nothing happens that's fantastic uh, 
Let's see if I spelled something wrong. I did not spell anything wrong. Because uh, it's working. So we go, we hit the floor. And uh, he kind of hits and kind of gets stuck there. Uh, if I go off the left, I mean... So he gets stuck, that's good. And if I go off the left, he's just gone forever because he falls off the floor. Because the gravity is still being applied. As soon as I get off this, he's going to fall. So that's great. Our floor, that's that's uh, some basic gravity working. Um, uh, so uh, this is showing you a little bit of gravity simulation collision. So that's how you can make your, your players kind of have gravity without including an entire physics engine. It's a nice, quick and dirty. Um, so yes, that's gravity and collision.